So let us now go with our next data set, HR data set. So we will first analyze what is HR data set, what are the data set we have, and then we have to create several different types of query. So the first query we will be creating after analyzing the data set is to create a KPI to show the employee count, attrition count, attrition rate, active employees, and average age. So let us now first analyze what is our data set. So this is HR data set, which is available. So attrition is how many employees have already left the company and how many are available in the company. So if the person has left the company, the value for attrition is yes. If else uh, they become working, he is still working, it is no. Then how frequently he is going on a business travel and we have an age band. So this particular employee falls into a particular age band like 35 to 44, over 55, under 25, 25 to 34, 35 to 44. So we have five different age groups. Then attrition label, wherein he is a current employee or ex-employee. That is the value which it gets filled. Next, we have three department, sales, HR, and R&D department. Then we have education field like life science, medical, uh, other fields like HR and other fields and employee number like staff number one, two, three, likewise and employee number one, two, three. And then we also have the gender of the employee. Then we have job role. Then we have um, he is married or not marital status. Then we have over the time from when he is available here over 18 years, how many are available? Okay. Training times last year he has attended how many number of trainings he has attended then the age of the person, okay? Then we have a label called as CF current employee. So if he is a current employee, the value will be one, else it will be zero. Next, we'll, we'll have daily rate of that particular person. What is the distance from the home of a particular person? What is the education of that particular person? He is a high school one associate or a bachelor's degree, master's degree, okay? Then we have employee count. We have environment satisfaction, uh, rating which we have taken what is the hourly rate of a particular person okay what is the job involvement of the person so it involves from one to four okay then we have job level okay uh, he is at the level one level two level three job satisfaction then what is the monthly income of that person monthly rate of that person okay number of companies previously he has worked okay what is the percentage of salary hike he has okay what is the performance rating of that particular person what is the relationship satisfaction of the particular employee? Then how many standard hours each employee should work? Is the stock option level activated to the employee or not? Okay, total working experience of that particular person. What is the work-life balance of that particular person? Years at company, years in current role, how many years? Years since last promotion, okay? Years with current manager. So these are the few fields which we have. So here few are not required, okay? The data set contains, these are the different uh, data which we have on HR data. So let us now go with Tableau. First, we will import the data set, go to Microsoft Excel. I have already downloaded the data set. I'll just open the data set, okay? Once you open the data set, so you can see that we have around how many employees? You will see we have 1470 employee details, okay, wherein we have 1220, 233 current employees for working, okay. So let us now go with our first query which we have to create. So before doing that, we require two calculated fields. One is attrition count and attrition rate. So how many have left the company? That is the attrition count. How many, uh, that is the rate okay and we have attrition rate so let us now go with creating the attrition count okay so go to calculated field create a calculated field Okay, name of the calculated field is attrition count. So, if, okay, we have if attrition 
is equal to AS. So whenever you type these values, like whatever the value you need to match, please see to that. However, it is represented in the table. Use the same values, else you will not get the values properly. Then else, then if the attrition value is equal to yes, then I have to count it as one. Okay. Else I have to count it as zero and end the condition. Okay. So if attrition is equal to yes, then the count will be one. Else it will be zero. Okay. This is our uh, formula which we will be using for calculating the attrition count. Click on apply and okay. Once we are done with this, we will create one more that is attrition rate. Attrition rate. Okay. So sum of whatever the attrition rate calculated field we have created, sum of that by count of employee count. Okay. So we already have the employee count which is available. Whole into 100 to get the rate. Okay. Click on apply and okay. So now it has asked us to create a KPI. KPI is key performance indicators. Now let us go with the first one employee count. So in the data label, you have dimensions and measures. In measures, you have employee count. Click on employee count, go to show me and select text table. That is the first graph we have. Okay, the data will be added. When you add the second one, the label for that particular data will be added. The next data they have asked us is attrition count. Right click on attrition count, select text table. You can see now attrition count and employee count is available. Now we also require attrition rate. Click on attrition rate, text table. Then we require how many number of active employees are there? So how do you calculate active employees? We will take current employee, okay, and add them. Okay, that is 1,233 are the current employees. Then we want average age. So I'll just click on age, go to text table. So age, it will use the sum, sum of all the values in the age group. So just right click on, you have measure values here. Just use this drop down and go to measures and select average. So the average age of the employee is 37. Okay. So this is the data which we have. So these are the key performance indicators. So rename the sheet. Key performance indicator. Okay. So we use this. Click on apply. Okay. So this is our first query. Okay. Rename the sheet to Q1. So this is the first query. These are the key performance indicators. The total employee count, current employee, attrition rate, attrition count and average age. Let us now go with the next query. So the next query says we have to create a lollipop chart. Okay. Lollipop chart to show the attrition rate based on the gender category. So what is the attrition rate for each gender category? That is for female and male, what is the attrition rate? Who is changing the company as more? Okay. Go to new sheet. Go to new sheet. Select gender to column. Gender to column. Attrition rate onto row. Okay. This will give you one bar chart as we don't have the lollipop chart available. So what we will do is we will add, we have to create that particular view. So what we will do is add attrition rate onto row twice so that we have two different chart. And in marks card, you have two different chart. Go to the second chart. Okay. Change the graph to circle. Change the graph to circle. Okay. Increase the size if required. Okay. Next, go to graph one. Decrease the size so that it looks like a stick. Okay. Lollipop. It looks like a pop. So then what we can do is this is our chart. Okay. Now what you have to do. Right click on the second chart. You click on dual axis. Once you do that what happens. 
the graph when it is merged, it will both the graphs will take circle. So what you have to do, go to first chart and select bar so that the lollipop view is created. OK, and then you can add go to all or go to first chart and add attrition rate onto label, attrition rate onto label and also gender onto color, gender onto color. So and go to second chart, add gender onto color. So this will give you the lollipop chart view. OK, this is our second chart. So it says gender wise. Gender wise. Attrition. Attrition. And change the sheet. So this is our lollipop chart. Next, we will go with our third chart. So which says we have to create a pie chart. OK, to show the attrition percentage based on the department category. Okay, Based on the department category. So go to Tableau, go to new sheet, new sheet and select department and attrition count by holding control. Go to show me select pie. Use entire view which will give you the chart. OK, now add department onto label, department onto label, then attrition count onto label. As they have told us to show the percentage. OK, wherever you find this text, OK, attrition, click on that. Go to quick table calculation, percent of total. OK, by seeing this, we can tell well, the, we have very high attrition rate or count in r and department and very less attrition in HR department. OK, this is the pie chart. To show department. Wise. Attrition. So this is with respect to pie chart. 